family together. It's what it's all about. And I know a lot of people have been taking their families to the zoo here a little bit lately. Everybody coming together just for that. So maybe how about kicking off the holidays with real live reindeer? Maybe a few penguins thrown in there and then jolly old Nick himself. You can enjoy all of that for the rest of this month at the Indianapolis Zoo. Yeah, and I tell you what, Indy Styles Wild King of course fine <laughs> George Malay is here and he's starting his day at the zoo and he joins us live. Good morning, George. I know you love know being cold. outside with sunshine on a cold winter day. And what a glorious day we've got today, Randy. It is spectacular, absolutely sun splash down here at the Indianapolis Zoo. A great way for us on Indy Style to kick off Christmas at the zoo. I am joined by Carla Knapp. She is a PR specialist, or the PR specialist here at the Indianapolis Zoo. Um, so tell us a little bit about Christmas at the zoo. What can we expect if we come out here? So this is our 53rd year for wow. Christmas at the zoo, and we just keep growing more and more every year. Some of the things that people have come to know and enjoy over the years, we're gonna experience that. So we've got lights covering the zoo from front to back. Just behind us, we've got Santa's Village. That's one of our newer additions. Uh, but then we also have some brand new uh, photo ops like our gingerbread family that's right next to us. Other experiences that are brand new this year. Uh, Carla got the cue before I did. We're taking a walk because in addition to all this cool Christmas stuff, we also have got the usual animals. And we were talking about this earlier. There are some animals that are honestly more active this time of year than they are in the summertime. Yeah, you're absolutely right. So we're heading over to our seals and sea lion plaza. Mm -hmm. And these animals uh, are native to colder climates. So a day like this where it's beautiful, sunny, but a little bit chilly, this is perfect weather for them. Uh, other animals like our walrus, we have tigers and brown bears, lots of other animals that really love this colder weather. And Marcus is getting a shot here of, of the habitat for the seals. And uh, he was saying earlier, there they are. He was saying earlier that uh, when they see the camera, as they do now, they are complete ham bones. And look at them all. They've just, they've just all come running as soon as they saw Marcus down here with his camera. Um, so, um, and, and this time of year, we've got some particularly, well, there, there, there's no reason not to come to the zoo in the wintertime, correct? Absolutely. This kind of a day is perfect. You come out a little bit early, you're going to get to visit with some of our animals. Uh, we open at noon today and then you get to stay late. You get to enjoy the beautiful Christmas lights, activities starting at five o'clock. We have so much happening that's going to make your visit just such a memorable experience. And, and on a cold night, you do not have to stay outside and freeze. There are a lot of exhibits that we can see indoors as well, correct? Yeah, you're absolutely right. We have our oceans area, uh, the desert dome where it's going to be a beautiful 70 degrees no matter what temperature we have outside. Uh, we also have our Dolphin Dome, we have our Simon Scott International Orangutan Center. All of those facilities are indoors, so you can come inside, get warm, uh, and then go back out and enjoy some more Christmas lights. And one of the things we were talking about earlier is, is the Christmas lights, and uh, there was a competition. We finished fourth. Um, how gratifying is that for everybody here on the staff to have again made it into the top tier of Christmas lights for zoos? You know, it is such a wonderful thing for us. Uh, this is the fifth time we have had a top five finish, and we're so very thankful because it's our community that goes online, they vote for us, they support us, and that really means so much to us. And there's a lot on tap in the coming year here at the zoo. You've got some new exhibits opening up and some new residents coming, correct? Yeah, you're absolutely right. In just a few months, we're going to be opening a brand new exhibit, Kangaroo Crossing, uh, featuring those amazing Australian species. Kangaroos are so much fun, and guests are going to get to uh, interact with them a little bit. Uh, and just recently, we just opened up a brand new habitat that uh, is for our Arctic fox. That's back in our encounters area and it's another species that guests can come out and enjoy whenever it's cold right now. And, and we may have seen some video a moment ago of the Arctic Fox. They're interesting. They're white 
and they're they're exceedingly active animals, right? Absolutely they are. And I mean, what a perfect wintertime species. They have that snowy white fur and they really love to be active in the colder temperatures. They've got thick fur that helps to keep them snugly warm. Uh, and it's just a beautiful species to see at Christmas at the zoo. Now, some of the animals are, are, are really active this time of year that might, if we came out in the summertime, not be doing much. Mm -hmm. You're absolutely right. We have Amur tigers. That's another species that's native to Russia. Uh, we have brown bears that are native to Alaska. Lots of other animals that are really going to be more active at this time of year than they would be in the summer months. She's Carla Knapp. We both want you desperately to come to the zoo for Christmas at the zoo. Today would be the perfect day. Randy yeah, and Amber, good. back to you. Thank you so much, George. It is. It's so pretty out there with that sunshine.